Hey YouTube, Creepy Crawler. It is uh, 10 o'clock at night. Seems like a good time as any to work on this thing again. Motivation is dreadfully low, but uh, I'm gonna try to push through, at least get the side cover off. Um, I got underneath the tractor earlier and it's got uh, one pulley's rubbing and the bearing seems about trash. So I think I still got time to order some bearings for these pulleys, but I need to know um, how bad they are if I need to just swap some not something else I got kicking around here what's going on so um, let's see me try to get this belt guard off I'm probably gonna smash the fuck out of my fingers yeah yeah probably gonna smash up my fingers pretty good but I'm gonna try not to first thing we gotta do is get the spring off the throttle pedal which is very stiff um, because I like having a stiff throttle pedal so that it doesn't bounce around a lot when you're trying to be precise about your throttle. That was actually easier than I thought. Easily do it by hand. It's gonna hang out there, cool. Let's see if this I might need to add some heat to this. I think I thread locked it last time. We'll find out together. It's too big. Trying out these new Icon brand um, stuff from Harbor Freight. It's their more higher end version. Um, I've had, I usually buy a set of these every couple years because the normal ones just wear out and they round off super easy. Oh boy, that's tight. Yeah, it's gonna have to have some heat. Let's go find a torch. Map gas. it when it's together but it does really make me despise taking the belt cover off because you gotta take this off it's just always a pain that's why I carry a little torch in my uh, toolbox because if I have to take this off on the trail well this has got to come off but other than that, it's nice. It keeps its position. Ouch, that oil is very hot. Surprise, surprise. Let's see if I can get this out. And it's greasable, which is nice. I don't like sloppy stuff. It's not going to come out now. Just for funsies. Oh, there we go. Maybe. Come on. I'm trying to be nice. Trying to not hit you with a big fucking hammer. No, that's just more burning hot oil on my fucking arm. Mm -hmm. I don't think that. It has to come out farther, but maybe it does. Maybe it's got a little divot wore into it and it's just not letting it slide all the way out. I don't know. I might have drilled it at some point. That way if it loosened up it wouldn't totally slide out. That's the thing when you have one of these tractors for this freaking long. You do so much, yeah apparently is what it was. You do so much stuff you forget what you did and when you have autism, not really autism but whatever is fun. Yeah, I ground a little stop. Oh, I ground a flat in it, so it was off of it enough to be loose, but not off enough to let it slip out. Regardless, it's out of the way. Let's move on to some other shit that sucks. This is probably another addition to the annoying things with Rusty, is it's got the footboards that mount on this crossbar, whatever you want to call it. So you got to get your hand up in here and get those loose, which you can do, but it's much easier to take tire off, so go on a Go try to find a jack 
or some wood or something to some way to get this thing up off the ground a little bit. Well, I didn't have a jack handy, but uh, I did have that big chunk of wood. So I just about blew my nuts out, lifting it up on there. And uh, I decided because I have ADHD that instead of actually, you know, taking that off and then, you know, doing what I was doing a minute ago, I need some motivation because I'm just not really feeling on this thing. And I want to grab the tires that I plan on putting on it for GER. And then I'll grab my impact and we'll throw them on, see what it looks like. Well, let's see. Figured you guys would want to come. Oh, a fucking course. <sighs> They're at the bottom of the pile. Well, there it is inside after I unstacked all the freaking tires. So uh, let's get this one off. set of uh, these same tires, Carlisle Trail Pros, and I had 26 11 12, so these are 26 9 12. Um, and I really, really liked them. They weren't even fresh. I'm usually a real picky bitch about running fresh tires, but I got them for free. And I was going to get... These are actually the, uh, I believe these are the set Donna gave me that match the other ones. They actually look pretty good on there. Let's get a, yeah, they don't look super good. I'm just a fat tire guy, but the width's, it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but the width's pretty close to being right. I think the front may be just a, just a half inch wider maybe. I'd love to narrow up the front end anyways, but I don't think we're getting to that. Definitely not getting to that. But yeah, they clear and see what they look like back. Yeah. yeah. They don't look terrible. They definitely need some gold paint. This looks goofy with the white on it, but yeah. I think those would be tires would be a good match for uh good match for the tractor, really, you know, with the little bit smaller displacement motor, a little bit skinnier tire, save some weight. Um won't look as good, but I think it'll actually, my brain always hates anything new. Like you change it and I fucking hate it 99% of the time. But uh, I think I'm already getting, with these we did uh, um, wheel horse wheels, factory wheel horse wheels, if I remember right. So they have the, the right offset, you know, actually stick out a nice mount. Looks like the slider will kick into the tire nice. So yeah, throw some gold paint on those and yeah, it makes me a little more excited. So now I'll, I'll take it off because I actually need to get the bolts because that's just how ADHD works. You got to you gotta do this kind of stuff to, to make the brain, the brain pods do the other, you know, the brain pods. You basically got to trick your brain into doing what you want it to do. So I think we successfully did that. So yeah, let's get some shit done. Well, I have to hold this light in here so you guys can actually see. But this is my super jank. Um, belt cover, it's got pieces of sheet metal just scabbed on it. Um, I was trying out some different stuff, different stuff work out, so then I cut it off, and at one point I think I cut something too big or cut something too small and had to put these patches in it, but um, this keeps my belt shielded from all the junk coming off the tire. It's all open on the bottom here so that the trash can get back out, but that helped me out a lot, um, just not slinging a bunch of, you know, mud and water right onto your freaking 
drive pulley, but it does make it a real bitch to change out the belt. So pros and cons, but here we go. Got uh, that you need all of all of the tools to take this off because these are these are seven sixteenths. Surprises didn't break off. Oh yeah, these are some weird high grade. But got my dad's when I was working on this thing down there. This is like grade 10s or something done. He had a bunch from some project for pipeline. Everything had to be super high spec bolts and they had a bunch of extras left over that we got to keep. So, And also this thing is terrible to get all these things lined back up. You gotta like Start this bolt and then do that bolt and then do this bolt. And it's just it's just pretty much all around dumb. That's why I don't kind of retired this thing. I do want to get it, you know, so I can drive it and try to get it running so I can take it down to the evening. Play around with everybody. A lot of people seem to want to see it in action. Even though it's really not that impressive. But uh it's okay. People want to see it, so I'll bring it. I respect that people like it. I'm kind of excited to see how many boys are out there. They're just be barred. What they say? What's the saying? Do as I do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, I mean, really, I don't care. You can do whatever you want to your tractors. You guys are probably all shit asses like me. I don't really care. Ew, ew, yucky. See, there's big mud up there. Gross. My semi-clean work area is now significantly less. All right. Stay still, please. Maybe, maybe. Wash her in away. Guess that one's not going back on. Do, 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 do. We got the one too. Oh, I can hold you with the pinky, so you're, you're being a team player. And just like that, that part is off. Alright, I think there's there's one up here. One up, up here. Up, yeah, on top of here. I need a wrench for that one though, of course. So we'll go get a wrench and come back. And I couldn't find my ratchet wrench, so we're doing it Amish style. Amish probably have ratchet wrenches, just not electric ones, something like that. If I remember right, which I usually don't, I think this is the last bolt to get this thing off here. Success. Oh yeah, I forgot this is always stupid. What's the magic trick for this? Clutch good down. Yeah. Hey. Yep, there it is. Alright. Let's bring you in close here. You can all find out together. Well, the camera died and shortly after, so did my motivation. But uh, we're out here, it's a new morning. Uh, it's raining outside, perfect day to, to work on this and we're getting real close to good evening. So uh, let's get to it. I did get the cover off. Um, well, I don't remember if the other video had me going through the bearings, but this one was good. Um, this one was good. I think it was this one. Yeah, this one was locked up i ended up it's not totally locked up but i can barely spin it around and you can feel the bearings binding up so um i did order new bearings um i'm gonna go ahead and pull these off real quick and uh then i'll bring you back 
Well, just like that, brand new bearings in these. Um, so I'm trying to think, like I could replace the belt, but I think that's, it's fine. It's fine. There's a little, a little bitty baby wear, but it's going to take some, it's going to scuff up whatever belt I put on it, cleaning up these pulleys first few times I ride it. So uh, we'll just leave this one. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll put the side cover back on. That was easy. Um, I think we, uh, I think we're about ready to slam some tires on it and maybe have a little test hit here. Oh, well, I messed with it a bunch and it never did really go on right. So it just ended up kind of peeling the lip out on this rim, which doesn't make sense because these are wheel horse rims on wheel horse hubs, but whatever. Um, kind of forgot we have to cover that back up. So uh, we'll get you set up here and we'll get that done. If you see that, that's the leg of my tripod. It's being a quitter. So uh, I'm gonna have to just use the old snap magic on this one. Yep, got that back on. Now I'll just have to fiddle this thing on, but I can't do that with one hand. It's tough with two. So we'll get that hooked up and bring you back. Well, I went to fire it up for a test kick and uh, back to no spark again. So I don't know if uh, you know, once them things get get rusty, if then you gotta keep cleaning them all the time, but I wanna throw the new one on and see what I get. next day I was really looking to get them wheels painted but I don't know that that's gonna happen um, due to the current schedule but uh, as you saw uh, I did pull it out um, Rusty's kicking in and out of gear uh, real quick I'll turn you around and we'll show you what I'm doing about that for temporary so I made this uh, catch um, it's just on the bolt right here you know it's down uh, I can't see it but yeah basically the idea is you kick it in gear and then kick that over um, I need to, um, I'm gonna put a little handle on here and I gotta grind this out more so that it catches it easier. But uh, yeah, that should hopefully hold it in. Uh, it's definitely hard on the transmission doing it that way, so I don't plan on running it long term, but should make it through the Good Evening Ranch ride and then I can bring it home and uh, throw another transmission in it, take this one apart and see what's going on with it. <sighs> well guys, that's it for me for this video. Um, I think I'll, uh, I'll try to get some footage when we're riding and uh maybe i'll try to do a little update on uh, my uh, uh camping setup because i'm not taking the camper this time i got my camper top that i took to top tractor challenge which uh, it's obviously it's not as nice as the big camper but the big camper is winterized and this setup's actually pretty slick so um yeah this will be it for this video creepy crawler signing out <laughs>